Hello again. This is uh, Shane with Key Specialty Store. And uh, today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, it's kind of a more of a public service announcement than it is anything else. Um, so we're going to talk about these electric heaters. Uh, um, generally pretty safe if plugged into a single circuit, um, plugged into a wall, no big deal. Now, I had a little bit of an instance here. I'll show you. There's a burned up cable. And that's tied into a, a cable reel. Now that particular cable reel, uh, we'll show you some pictures, um, is made of 16 gauge cable. which based on a bunch of calculations, if you were to do the math, now that's 25 foot long. It's plugged into a 20 amp circuit that the only other thing that's on it is my garage door. Um, the other night I was putting my plow on my tractor and I plugged in one of these electric heaters just to kind of take the chill off. I uh, didn't think much of it, came out 20 minutes later, half hour later and uh, fortunately I was out here, but I heard the circuit breaker pop. And I had smelled something kind of funny. I thought maybe it was just the dust coming off of uh, the electric heater. Well here, um, I did a little more investigating. And you can see I have the panel off uh, right there. I did a little more investigating. I uh, reset the breaker and it tripped again. Well, I looked into it here. I started unplugging stuff and I found well, this. So if you wanted to do the math, which we're not going to go into it, this is a fair Shawmut book that calculates wire diameter, um, gauge size, and length of wire that you could put on a circuit. Now you're going to see in the pictures this electric heater um, runs 12 amps. My breaker was 20 and my wire gauge size was 16. Um, that particular gauge uh, at that length is only rated for 10 amps. So I overrated the circuit. And uh, I should know better, um, didn't think anything of it, just assumed I'd be all right. So anyway, uh, just check the data, check the ratings on your appliances, make sure they're plugged into everything, and make sure you're not drawing too much current on your circuits. Um, if you have uh, further questions, I would consult an electrician. Um, if it wasn't for the metal housing of my cable reel or me not being present in my garage, I may have had a fire and lost everything out here.